Have you ever thought about where your produce comes from? Most grocery chains receive produce from various local and national farmers. In fact, there are about 3.4 million farmers in the United States today. But of that staggering number, only 45,000 are black farmers. At The Better Buggy, we are a proud group of Atlanta-based black-owned farmers, selling produce locally and nationwide. Our easy-to-navigate online platform makes it easy for you to make a one-time purchase or to simplify your life by subscribing to our weekly produce box. Whichever frequency you choose, you can order with confidence knowing you'll receive 100% organic farm fresh produce. If you're looking for a thoughtful gift for a loved one that they'd actually find useful, be sure to pop by our online store where you can snag a gift card your recipient can use to order their own produce and t-shirts. Ready to start supporting local black owned farms and making healthier food decisions? Visit thebetterbuggy.com now to start shopping. Many of you might have heard that Bill Cosby was denied parole. So they want this man to die in jail. They do. They're not fooling no damn body. They want him to die in jail. They don't want him to ever get out. So this came out on deadline May 27th, 2021. Bill Cosby denied parole. Ex America's dad won't participate in required sexually uh, violent predator treatment. Maybe because he's not a sexual violent predator. Maybe that's why he doesn't want to participate in that. You know, this is really what they do. You know, plea deals, trying to get you to do things that make you look like a criminal. You know, this place is just so wicked. And he really shouldn't be in there at all. All right. You let a lot of people in this country, especially famous ones, walk when they have sexually assaulted people. But you want to hog tie this man in prison. But I'm not surprised. You know, look, I told y'all I grew up in Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania is like the Alabama of the North. That's what Pennsylvania is like. The most unlikable people you'll ever see. And I'm not talking about in the black community. I'm not talking about you. The Pennsylvania Supreme Court hasn't ruled on whether Bill Cosby can leave prison or get a new trial on sex crime charges. But the Keystone State Patrol Board has made its opinion very clear following an interview with you and a review of your file and having considered all matters required pursuant to the parole board in the exercise of the discretion has determined at this time you are denied parole and re-parole, the board told, um, you know, because he did not do this sexually violent predator treatment, what, whatever the hell that is. Um, so this is what they wrote in a letter earlier this month. The state board cites several reasons for its decision to keep the 83-year-old legally blind actor, once known as America's dad, behind bars. In no small part, the negative recommendation by the Pennsylvania Department of Corrections didn't help Cosby's cause, nor did the fact that he has refused to participate in, let alone complete a required treatment for sex offenders and violent prevention. Okay, y'all remember these women came from the 60s and 70s and 80s to say they were assaulted by Cosby? They let decades and decades and decades go by and then they all came out at once. Now, you know that was all planned. Just look at the timing. And no, I don't believe these women. If you were really sexually assaulted, you could have said something a long time ago. And how are they going to find evidence from the 60s, 70s, and 80s? Because you didn't say nothing. You didn't report nothing. 
Oh, boy. Cosby's refusal to engage in the treatment program uh, pretty much stymies any further parole hopes for him. The board also made clear, which means he'll likely remain locked up for a while unless Pennsylvania top courts find uh, it, you know, their findings are in his favor. So that's what they're pretty much saying. So we know um, the history of Bill Cosby and Andrea Constan, you know, that mannish looking high IQ woman, very mannish looking. Yeah, we know about her too. So the incarcerated at Pennsylvania State Correctional Institution let me get that out of the way. At Phoenix, for nearly three years, Cosby has been fighting the conviction almost since the moment he was sentenced. Coming up a short time and again, and even failing to get early release because of the coronavirus. The disgraced comedian, well, that's not what he is to me. That's what he is to the high IQ. Um... So he scored a win in June 2020 when the Pennsylvania Supreme Court agreed to hear his appeal on the rape conviction. Conducted virtually in December due to the ongoing COVID-19 crisis and with Bill Cosby absent, the 75-minute appeal hearing centered on prior testimony from five other women during the second trial, the Fifth Amendment rights, and a 2005 press release from the prior DA of Pennsylvania Montgomery County, for better or worse. The seven-judge PA Supreme Court has not released an opinion on the appeal. So, ladies and gentlemen, they're pretty much telling you they're not going to let him out. And, and I don't blame Bill Cosby. You know, that's one thing about America. America will try to bend your hand into taking pleas and doing what Cosby refusing programs and trying to push programs on you and everything else that will incriminate you even further. And look. I don't blame him for fighting this. You know, I can see if these cases were recent, they keep these cases out there like this just so they can get black men. You you will never see white men, high IQ men go to jail at the same rate for sexually assaulting women in this country. And they are big at it in America, big, okay? It should be far more of them in prison for this reason. But Bill Cosby never stopped fighting, never stopped fighting. You know, if he takes this treatment, it's on him for the rest of his life. And then they can brandish him and put him on a sex offenders list. But y'all, please tell me what you think. You know, America... Mm, you got a hurting coming for you. Y'all, we just got past the blood moon and you know pandemonium always break out after these blood moons. And you see the mass shootings. And we, you know, actually uh, a year ago and even in 2019, right after blood moons, you would see mass shootings in America. And they have gone up a lot since the country opened up. So that just goes to show you what kind of climate America is now. America's not the same, okay? This economy, like I said, it ain't ever gonna fully come back. They got a lot of problems in this country. So for them to continue to focus on us is downright laughable and even a bigger disgrace. Now, we got a lunar eclipse coming in June, and many in North America will be able to see this. 
So all of these signs, America, you will not escape your judgment. You're going to get every ounce of it. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.